Hello people, I'm Axlot and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be proving whether the g gas gun slash tower can is possible. Anyway, intro is long enough, let's begin. <laughs> First, let's start with some trivia. The Tau Cannon, also known as the Gas Gun, even though it's not really a Gas Gun, can be found in the chapter Questionable Ethics on the second floor of the Bio Research Lab, and is based on a coil gun. It shoots in two different modes. One, shoots a yellow like beam rapidly, and two, makes it spin the star. More on that later. Which, this also makes it shoot a powerful, lighter coloured beam. This also makes an appearance in Half-Life 2, but that's for another video. Okay, let's examine the structure of the gun. This will probably end up being pointless though, because there are bigger deciding factors. Editor's note, I'm only looking at the OG models, but I will show both for comparison. Anyway, at first glance, there's a rotating star, a gas canister, two AA batteries, and vents. Now these don't have really any explanation to them, but I'm going to assume that the star powers up the laser. The batteries supply power for this thing that spins the star, and the canister supplies a gas or a liquid to cool the gun or something else. And obviously, the vents cool the gun down. All right, what are towers? Towers are short-lived elementary particles that exist in positive and negative charge states and has a mass about 3,500 times greater than an electron. So what does that mean? Nothing really. It doesn't really impact the gun because, again, it's impossible to shoot these without a portable particle accelerator, which currently we don't have the technology for. And just like the glowing gun, this gun uses the fuel of depleted uranium 235, which like we've covered, is not strong enough to power a particle accelerator, or a hadron collider. Okay, now that we've got that out of the way, what would happen if you're actually shot by it? Well, not much compared to the glowing gun, there'd just be a big gaping hole inside you. I mean, I guess it's not that bad compared to the glowing gun? So in conclusion, again, it's not possible, unfortunately due to the fuel not having enough oomph and being unable to shoot particles without a hadron collider or a particle accelerator. Also not using Duracell batteries. Not sponsored by the way, but you know we could sort something out Duracell. I'd be happy to be sponsored by you. Alright, that's about it. These videos are much shorter than I was really thought. I thought these were going to be like 15 minute long or something, like all my other videos. But uh, before I go, I have a couple of important things to say. One, I my computer is so close to being fixed. Only like half a week left, I've been told. So hopefully I can get back to my gameplay videos and my sweet, sweet computer because oh, playing games on this laptop, doing anything on this laptop is so painful, it's so slow, so laggy, and it crashes so much. Any <laughs> I got more important stuff to say. Alright, uh, thank you Juco for recording the footage. Uh, this video would probably be very, very boring and probably would have been delayed for a lot longer without you if you hadn't done that. And all the websites that I used will be linked in the description. So if you have, if you want to know where I got the images or some of the info, that'll be in the description. Uh, I have a Discord as well. So please, if you have any questions or I got something wrong or you don't understand something, come ask in the comments or the Discord. Either's fine. Uh, feedback would be good as well. And four, if you have any other questions you want me to cover or yeah, stuff like that, just ask, ask away. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy this, please consider subscribing. Alright, see you on the next video. Bye bye. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank <laughs> you.